Hello, my name is Minister Jill Hart, and this video is about unity in the community. In the recent years, we've seen a multitude of calamities happening throughout the country. Many, of course, have come from the evils of greed and wealthy men, bankers especially, working tirelessly to bring not only the U.S. to its knees, but the middle class, particularly which has caused hundreds of thousands of new cases of divorces in this country. And during the, during the housing market scandal, the Federal Reserve alone with several major financial institutions raped and murdered the, in, the innocence of the American dream. Millions of jobs were lost. Many business, businesses were closed for good. Neighborhoods were left in disarray with homes being ransacked, ransacked by homeless and other criminals' activities. And fast forward today, our people are still climbing out of this financial mess that they did not create. Many are living check to check just to stay afloat. And no longer are jobs available for the average individual. It seems that if you have a high school diploma or GED, you may not be able to find work, yet not uh, yet alone uh, find a, uh, a low paying job. Even having a bachelor's degree, there is no guarantee that you will have a job waiting for you even after graduation. So what a per what's the person to do when it seems that there's no hope in sight and no future to even look forward to? We believe that there is hope and a bright future for each and every individual who are true believers and faith masters. Our project focuses around communities, not just in urban areas, but in every community to begin to reach back and rebuild those once thriving areas back into its new beginnings. Project by Faith is based on the fact that if God said he'll do it, then surely God will do it as he did back in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, when God said, if we as a nation, as a people would humble ourselves, no matter what the government or the wealthy are doing and turn from our ways, seeking the face of God and the things of God, then God assured us without a doubt that he will begin to heal our land as well as our communities. And through our turning this thing around, God promised us greater families, greater finances, greater businesses, greater love for one another and greater protection from the enemy, greater and stronger communities spreading from sea to shining sea. Now how awesome is that? It is the hope and desire of God that we have long life and have it more abundantly than we could ever imagine. And at Project By Faith, our goal is to begin to buy back our communities one building at a time. By rebuilding strong businesses in our communities, we can now begin to control the dollars coming in as well as the dollars going out. We have slated a multifaceted programs and community projects which are in its development stages. But our first goal is to obtain this wonderful building for our soon-to-be beauty store. And we are in the process of obtaining the permits and we are now ready to accept donations uh, for the first six months rent as well as supplies for that Atlanta store. We are raising $18,845 to the penny and this will give us enough room to have a grand opening in March of 2015, which will begin the, op the opening of the other businesses that we tend on pursuing as well as strengthening each community. We will have updates dealing with where we are with the building and the permits uh, to keep track of our progress. It is by faith, my people, that we will galvanize this wonderful project into its fruition. Now this mission, this vision is not like a regular uh, church building fund because we believe uh, that if the community is strong first, uh, then the church shall follow. We ask you to please join us on this wonderful journey that hopefully will touch each and every community from Georgia to New York to Minnesota all the way to California. My beloveds, this is a movement of God, my beloveds, and I am so honored, so humble to be one of God's chosen to walk in our destiny. And there's no other 
and there's no question about it. This is an incredible opportunity for the world to see that we, as the people of God, are one. We thank you, we God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Peace.